Well, the project in the shop today is my mailbox. Uh, I took it off the post. Uh, the post is a four by four post sunk in the ground out by the road and it's held on by a couple of lag bolts. So it's very easy to remove from the post, bring it in here into the shop. And uh, you can see there's some uh, little bits of scratches and some, uh, you can see a history of letters being stuck to the side of this thing. Uh, it's a really good mailbox. I know it's been beat on Saturday nights it, at least a couple of times that I know. Um, I actually heard them hit it with a baseball bat one night. Um, and uh, all it does is, at least that time, uh, the door was flapped open in the morning when I went out. So it holds up really well. It looks really good other than it's faded out really bad on top. And um, it's kind of interesting. It's faded more on this side you know you can see it comes down a little bit on that side but it comes a little further on this side this faces south when it's set up on the road so i'm in uh, southeastern indiana i just i thought that was a little bit curious that it's faded out more south facing anyhow what we're going to do to try to try to get rid of a little of those scratches but mostly i'm concerned with this graying out on top uh we're going to use a heat gun and i'll get you set up on the tripod and uh, we'll see if we can't we're gonna heat this up uh, very gently and essentially just melt that very top layer of plastic and see if we can get some of that uh, color underneath to shine through. Well, here's a heat gun we're gonna use. This is a, uh, apparently it's a Milwaukee brand. I picked it up at a yard sale a few years ago. It doesn't get much use around the shop other than uh, when I paint fishing jigs. It works real good for heating up uh, lead jigs. Uh, we're going to set this thing to high and I'm going to start back here and uh, see kind of how it looks before we get up into the main body of the thing. I don't want to spend too much time in one spot. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but you can see it get real shiny when that plastic starts to melt. That is making a definite improvement. So I'm trying to heat it pretty evenly to get the color pretty much the same. Well, that's, uh, I think that's a night and day difference, guys. You should be able to see that pretty clearly on the camera. Um, you know, everything from this ridge back was just as white as that front was. So I'm going to keep on keeping on here. All right, well, there's what it looks like 16 minutes in. Well, here we are all finished up. You can see the uh, little red flag cleaned up real nice. That was kind of a shade of pink before. Um, but it, it colored right up. Uh, it's so thin that it colored up a little quicker than the green did. Uh, and again, it's hard to see in here, you know, for the shop lights and everything, but it's not perfect, but it is so much better than it was before. Um, I figured, you know, worst case scenario with this project, guys, if I'd have screwed it up, I'd go get, uh, they make spray paint for plastics. And I figure if I screw this up with this heat gun, I can always go get that, you know, go get some of that spray paint. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to have to. Um, it turned out really well. I did not do the uh, the gray doors. I'm not super worried about that. I mean, hell, you you got to be at the house looking this way to see that anyhow. And uh, that front door, that's not bad to look at. Mostly I was concerned about this view. This is Coming down the road towards our house, that's that view. 
and a few folks do come from that direction but anyhow it turned out great i'm very happy with the results and uh it took me about oh about an hour i guess hour and 10 minutes so um hope i helped you with this guys if i did click that thumbs up button if you want to see more videos of me working out here in the shop doing all kinds of stuff click the subscribe button and until the next video keep on tinkering